Hi, I'm Steve from TouchFire, and I'm going to show you how to set up and use your TouchFire case and keyboard. Now we have four models of TouchFire. One for iPad 2, 3, and 4. One for iPad Mini, Mini Retina, and Mini 3. One for the iPad Air, and a different one for the iPad Air 2. Now, if your case or keyboard doesn't seem to be fitting right, you might have the wrong model of TouchFire. Send us an email and we'll get that sorted out. Your TouchFire case might be a little stiff when it comes from the factory, so we suggest doing this a few times on the hinges, just loosening them up a little bit, and do the same for the tab. Let's start by putting your iPad into the case. The camera hole on the back of the iPad should line up with the camera hole in the case. iPad might turn on because we're hitting the power button there. So press down starting with the lower left corner, then the lower right corner, then the upper right corner, and the upper left corner. And go back and make sure that everything is in place. Now to take the iPad out of the case, you start with the right corner, then the left corner, and off you go. All of our cases come with this really cool magnetic latch. It keeps the cover closed pretty much no matter what you do. It's also used to get some of the positions that our case offers. It mates with the magnets back here. And now you get a low position, a little higher, flip it around even higher and higher still. All of our cases have a variation of this latching system. Here's the mini. And as you can see, it works pretty much the same. We also have a number of micro adjustable viewing positions. For example, this goes from the low viewing position all the way up to almost the high viewing position. We also have a vertical viewing position, and the case has a sound booster that increases the volume by about 50%. Whoa! When do you come out to play? Finally, there's a built-in magnetic mount in your touch fire case. Just flip the cover back, and now you can attach your touch fire to any magnetic surface. Now we're ready to talk about typing but I first want to show you a few settings on your iPad that are important to get the most out of TouchFire. So under General, go down to Keyboard. Turn off Split Keyboard. There's no way that's going to work with TouchFire. And we also suggest that for now, you turn off Predictive. Once you're typing comfortably, you might want to turn that back on and see if you like it. Go back to General and click on Accessibility. There's an op option here called bold text. We suggest you turn that on because that will make the keys on the on-screen keyboard much easier to see. That's going to require restarting your iPad. Just hit continue and that'll happen. Okay, let's type. So let's take your uh, keyboard, put it on your iPad. It's attached magnetically here. There's also a magnet in the iPad under here. That's going to keep it down on this side, but there is no magnet on this side. So eventually it's going to fall off on that side. You can easily fix that by simply pressing down on both sides right underneath the tab. That'll lock it in. And now it's going to stay on. Now we can just type. If you want to use uh, your iPad full screen, you can easily just get the keyboard off by pulling it down. You can pull this part vertically and then it stays off. When you want to type again, just put it back. That was for the Air and Air 2. Now for the 2, 3, 4, you would press down here. And when you, when you want it full screen, you just grab and do that or do that. For the Mini, you would press down here to lock it in. Then for full screen, like that or like that. 
Okay, let's see how your keyboard and case work together. When you close your iPad, the latch keeps your keyboard securely stored inside your iPad. If you open the cover, you can hold the tab down and then the keyboard stays with your iPad, or you can grab the tab of the keyboard and then it stays with your cover. You can now swing your cover around. The keyboard is securely stored behind the iPad, and now you can turn it around and watch a video. And if you don't want to keep your keyboard with your case all the time, you can get one of our keyboard storage cases. Okay, you're now ready to start typing. We suggest that you go to touchfire.com start and use our typing tutor. It takes about 20 minutes and it gives you an overview of everything you need to know about typing with Touchfire on an iPad. One final thing. If it feels like it's really hard to press the keys on Touchfire, it might be because you have a screen protector on your iPad. Touchfire doesn't work with most screen protectors. We did find one that it does work with, however, and that's available on our website. Thank you very much.